family who lost everything in the Caldor fire received an incredible surprise today, a place to live. Right now, we're going to take you to Somerset to show you the moments they learned they wouldn't have to sleep in tents anymore. We lived up in Grizzly Flat, and then, yeah, the fire came and just yeah. wiped yeah. out everything. And Now, this is the Hatch family's reality. Huh? Bathroom. Don't really have a bathroom. <laughs> and uh, showering. It's not so easy and it's not hot. Living in tents for more than six months. Time flies when you're just busy, busy, busy. You, you know, fighting the weather most of the time and trying to cook and yeah. shower up and get ready for school the next day and homework. Winter especially challenging for this single father and his four children. I'm just trying to keep going forward so I can get all four of them back with me full time in a house and not not dealing with this. But I think they stay more positive than me. And when I start breaking down there, they, they pick me up. His 17 year old daughter, proof. And it really did break us all because now we're all kind of lost. But we still have each other no matter what. Lost, but now found. I actually didn't tell you the truth because we got your trailer and it's coming up right now. Really? Are you serious? It's crazy. A safe place to call home. Group like this. Group like <laughs> Thanks to emergencyrv.org, a group that helps wildfire victims by giving them RVs. They worked with the California Fire Foundation to make this happen teacher reached out to us and, and said, I have an amazing student. She's a really smart kid, straight A's. She lost her home in the Caldora fire. And despite that, she's still a straight A student. She walks down the street to find um, a Wi-Fi hotspot to do her homework. With the flip of a switch, <laughs> this family can start over. Oh my God! Dad, come on, Laughter. <laughs> comes again. They, they lost everything. They have nothing but each other. What I learned today was having each other is really pretty amazing. In Somerset. Yeah. Good things are going to happen to you because of this. It's karma. <laughs> Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. We needed some good news tonight, right? That group, emergencyrv.org, says it has a wait list of families who need places to live. If you're able to donate money or even an RV, you can go to the link that's at the bottom of your screen right now. Again, that's emergencyrv.org.